Hey guys, it's Joe D, and today I want to talk to you about trimming your mustache. That's right, today we are going to tackle the stash, the mouth merkin, a little bit of face lace, the bromerang, the womb broom. That one is disgusting. But before we get to that, I want to let you guys know that this is actually the third video in this trimming series that I've done. I will put links in the description down below to the previous videos if you have not checked those out already. But for now, let me show you what you're going to need to make this process work. A good comb. This is going to be one of the most useful tools that you have in your beard arsenal, so please don't feel bad about investing in a good one. Uh, look for one that's handmade, one that's saw cut. It's going to prevent snags. These are going to be your best friends. A beard trimmer. Now, I use the beard trimmer because of the speed and the uniformity that it offers me, but speed means caution, so please take your time and make sure that you have the time to take. A pair of hair shears or a pair of scissors. I'm not of the school of thought that you need to use hair shears. It's just whatever you choose to use, please make sure that they're sharp. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is define the parameters of what we're trimming. So because I handlebar my mustache, I imagine two vertical lines defining the corners of my mouth and then a line running perpendicular to my top lip. So when you use a beard trimmer on your mustache, it's important to do it this way and not this way. The standard beard trimmer blade is wider than most mustaches, so you can understand how this could cause a problem. So move the trimmer from the center of your stash and work slowly outward toward the ear on the corresponding side of your face. Work slowly and deliberately. Remember, you can always take more off, but you can never add more on. So I comb everything back into place and make sure I didn't miss anything and I start work on the other side. Now it is important for me to mention that I always leave the first side I trim long. This is a safety net so I can go back and take more off in case I do something crazy on the other side, which, because I had a camera in my face, I did. So leave yourself room for error and limit your distractions. Now the trimmer does a great job, but it does leave things looking a little synthetic. So I take my scissors and make little cuts running parallel to the grain of my stash. Just little baby cuts, just to make sure that things look a bit more natural. So, like I said, I handlebar my stash, but this area does need attention too, so I'm using a piece of paper here for contrast. This is handy because it's nearly impossible to see what you're doing without it. Now, I'm not looking for uniform cuts. I'm just getting rid of anything that looks shaggy or really out of place. Do not twist the tips of your mustache and cut all the hairs at once. I have made these mistakes so you don't have to. Now gussy up your stash and enjoy the results. So there you go guys, I have set you up for success to trim your mustache, and you should, even if not a full blown trim, you should still do your part to keep it as neat and tidy as possible, because after all, it's your mustache, and not everyone can grow one, and some choose not to. The Amish, for instance, do not grow mustaches. This tradition stems back many years to when stylized mustaches were worn by men in the military. The Amish, being a pacifist culture by nature, do not want to be associated with the armed forces, thus a distinct lack of moustache. And I'm not just talking Amish, let's look at old school Christianity or old school Abrahamic thought. The standalone stash was often associated with the devil or nefarious acts. Even in the book of Leviticus, it says that the corners of the face shall not be marred. Now, it doesn't say marred by a mustache specifically, but it's, it's religion. It's open to interpretation. Taking religion out of this equation, you don't often see politicians sporting facial hair, and that's because, evolutionarily speaking, we are really sensitive to certain facial expressions, and a lot of those expressions are associated with the mouth. So I guess the logic is, it's easier to interpret someone's facial expressions when they're not sporting facial hair. I would definitely vote for somebody because they had a mustache. Alright guys, that's all I have for you this time. The last video in the trimming series is going to be about edging your beard, the cheek line and the neck line. So look for that in the next week or so. Until then, I am Joe D. And be well. All the problems with our politicians, and I'm talking about mustaches.